Kosi Jesu ngomoyo ngwele vula izi ngondo zetu na mesho etu nezi nchebe zetu. Uguba sibambi sise izi lako. Lord Jesus, by your spirit, wouldn't you open our ears, our eyes, our hearts to grasp firmly what you have for us and your word. Show us wonderful things in thy word. Amen. Amen. Let's read from Romans chapter 6. Ngako siyakuthini na sihlale sonweni ukuze kuvama umusa na What shall we say then shall we continue in sin that grace may abound Kana kanye thine safa amaqondana nesono singabuye sihambe kanjani kuso na No never how shall we who died to sin live any longer in it Kumba nazi inuguti sonke sa papati selwa ku Christu Jesu. Sa papati selwa kuko ugufa kwa kena. Or do you not know that as many of us were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death? Nga kosembelwa na yengo papati selwa kuko ugufa. Uguba jenga loku Christu wabuswa wabafileyo. Genka zimulo kaise. Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection. Sasi lo kukuti umuntu wetu mtala wabe telu waganye na yuspamba nweni uguza umzimba we sono wenziwe ize singabi isi sakonzi sono guguba ufile ukululiwe esonweni. Knowing this that our old man was crucified with him that the body of sin might be done away with that we should no longer be slaves of sin. Kepa umasafa ganye no kristu for he who has died has been freed from sin. For if we died with Christ, we believe that we also shall live with him. Knowing that Christ, having been raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has dominion over him. For the death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life that he lives, he lives to God. Likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. We'll read thus far. The cross is a, a marvelous and an amazing thing. It is a miraculous, wonderful thing, the cross. You might think only of the cross, or think of the cross as just that cross where Jesus died and then he died and was raised from the dead, and that was it. And that's why you live the life which we observe. You haven't been, it has not yet been revealed to you, this great mystery. Here in Romans, it asks the question, how can we who believe continue in sin any longer? Why so? It asks, how, how can we continue in sin anymore? when we have died to sin? 
go over because lapu Jesus pambanwe when Jesus was on the cross unkulunkulu was papatisela ku Kristu God baptized us into Christ kuti lapha fasafa naye so that when he died we died with him lapha vuga savuga naye when he arose from the dead we rose with him let me illustrate for you like what here is a piece of paper let's name this piece of paper john lengwati asiqambu kuthulizwe ujesus this book let us call it the word jesus lengwati yabethelwa the word was crucified on the cross jesus was nailed there lapho jesus ebethelwe emthini when jesus was nailed to the tree unkulunkulu god wathatha john took john wathatha wena he took you maria wathatha wena mary sbusiso sbusiso wa papatisa ku Jesu wa kufaka ku Jesu ukuthi lapho Jesu ebethelwa nawe wabethelwa naye he baptized you into Jesus so that as Jesus was crucified so you were too lapho Jesu evuka kwabafileyo and when Jesus nawe wavuka kanye naye arose from the dead you also rose with him Isolo go 3 bethu nenkonzo la Yesterday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon we had a service here Sathi lapho u Maria lapho bentuli indawo bebona u Maria bebona u Josepha ababonanga u Jesus And we mentioned that when the innkeepers refused room to Mary and Joseph they didn't see Jesus they refused the judge of all created things of heaven and earth and when they died they would have been so shocked to discover they'd refused room to the judge of judges ngiyabona ukuthi ngosuku lokugcina abasothawu unkosi besingazi qolele besithumaria besingabona ukuthi wena ohlele sihlalweni somlilo wena qobo lwakho unobuso obukhanya ngaphezulu kokukhanya kwelanga ukuthi uwe obuza kithina they will say on judgment day lord jesus we did not know we didn't realize that it was you coming that we had refused room not just to Mary and Joseph but to you umakathe sazina bese othi ku ku Herod iqobo lwakhe yehle sihlalweni akuhlale wena had we known lord we would have even spoken to Herod himself and asked him to get off his throne for you kodwa bebe ngazi bomthatha kalula nje umaria no Joseph bengaqonda ukuthi kulaba abantu kuzi uze ba but they didn't know they were ignorant of the fact of the one who was in in them the one that they'd refused place to babonu maria bebe ngambonu jesus they only saw mary bebe ngambonu mesia they didn't see the messiah bebe ngambonu sindisi wabo they didn't see their savior bebe ngaboni umahluleli they didn't see the judge Bebe ngaboni yena nezihluthulelo zokufa kwabo neze hayigese They didn't see the one who holds the keys of death The one who holds the keys of their death and of Hades in his hands Tatagalu They took it lightly Laleli sisani nabasha ninabasha nisephu ngozine nkulukabi ngoba 
izinto kwizona zona aniqondi ngobi qinisa indeli nise ingane engqondweni now listen very carefully you young people in particular because you are still immature in your minds nabo ngabano no 25 ngithi awu awukavuthwe engqondweni ikho nisuke ndumele imali nidumele ikhundla nidumele ukuphakama nidumele izinto zomhlaba ngingazi even if you're 25 i have to use your age as an excuse and say but you're still immature in your mind because that can be the only reason why you run after money position power recognition ningalaleli lokho kufanele ukuthi ndalele noma ntshelwa ndibone ukuthi okwenu kukhulu kunalokho entshelwa ikona and you that can be the only reason why you don't understand don't take in and listen to what you are told which and what is true is even deeper and more profound than what you are told lapha figu maria bebe ngaboni ukuthi ubani lo okuye ukuthi umdali wezulu nomhlaba umenzi wezinto zonke when jesus came in they didn't see him they only saw mary didn't realize that the creator the judge the one who had made all things was there and when jesus was crucified on the cross they looked at him and they didn't see the great miracle and you don't see the great miracle you don't see that you've been placed in him wena qobolwa kunkulu nkulu wenzisi manga wakubhatha wakubhapadisela kujis that god has for you performed this wonderful miracle he baptized you into christ at the cross lapho kubethela ujesu wabethelwa wena when jesus was crucified you too were crucified la pefa kwafa wena impilo yakho maqondana nesono when he died you also died your life of sin you died to it la kujesa evuke thuneni kwavuka wena kwavuka mina when jesus arose from the grave you arose i rose so ke thina sikholwa uye all of us who believe in him have been raised together with him marvelous how glorious how wonderful is this mystery revealed here in romans what god performed for us on the cross nani duku here is my handkerchief ngel fakala i put it into my bible you don't see the handkerchief anymore you see the bible unkulunkulu wathatha abantu bakhe wabafaka ku jesu lapha bethelwa sabethelwa naye God took, God took his people and he placed them into Christ so that when he died they died when he went and was buried he, you were buried when they when he arose his people arose Jesus died once for sin nathi sat sabakuye and we being placed in him have died to sin manje ngingaqhubeka kanjani nesono ngoba nafa maqondana nesono how can you possibly continue with sin for you have died to it lapho jesus evuka ingxathi wase roma 6 ningixolele ngiyajaha nje ngoba and when jesus arose here in romans 6 and i'm just making it brief i don't want to take too much time we arose with him we now live a new life how 
how marvelous was this miracle which God performed for us on the cross. What does it mean to be dead to sin? Do you know what death is? I was married. I lived with the mother of our children, my wife. Wafa. She died. I can no longer speak to her. I can't ask her to cook food for me. I can't ask her to make the bed. Death came, and through death, I can no longer communicate with her. She can't communicate with me. If you have died to sin, can sin still call you? Haven't you died to sin? If I have died to sin, then it's finished with it. We have no more communication with sin. Sin no longer has authority over me, dominion. But if you're involved in the occult, are there any Tosa speaking people here? Can I use then the name that means something different to them? And now, regarding ancestral worship, speaking to the dead, in actual fact, they're not communicating with the dead, but with demons. Where is our Indian friend who works in the garden? Where are you? There he is over there to the right. Oh, you must stand up. I don't see you. You level of all the people. Yes. Yes. There, our Indian friend. He used to st- He used to speak to the spirits involved in the Hindu religion of his religion and um, the spirits of that background. He too seeks baptism. Because he says he has repented and left those ancestral spirits. Now, you Zulus who claim that you are so deep into ancestral worship, you're actually playing around. You don't know what serious ancestral worship is in comparison to the Hindus. Learn from the Indians who are Hindus and how they will regard even a cockroach as sacred because it might be their, uh, one of their grandparents visiting them. They don't kill any object because of their communication with the dead. Uh, he says, finish! Uh, he says he's finished with that life. He wants to live for Jesus Christ only. That's the end of his Hindu life. He now gives himself to Jesus Christ, wants to live as a Christian. Our brother works in the garden for us. And he does a very good job. You can go and look at the cabbages and all the things that he's planted. You don't find weeds. It's clean. 
It's nice. Unaya lapo esebenza kona. Ulo ikabe shina kona im gu ukula luko gugashenje. So I asked him, what does the cabbage look like because it's bought by Woolworths? Ngimbuzi luguti kabish linja no gomanch ngoba gutengwa abase Woolworth. He says, come and see, come and see. The Holy Ghost has gone through all the cabbages. Wati, waza uibonel ngobu moyongwele ushula ikabish yonke. That's Hindu language. Seben zisa i ulimi luamandia. So, at the cross, God the Father baptized us into the Son. And when Jesus died, you died. When he rose, you rose. Have you thanked him for that already? Have you bowed before him, gone down on your knees, worshipped him for such a great salvation? That you are dead to sin, dead to the world, dead to the devil. Kushuguti ubaba ose zulwini wasi chala gujesu. Lapo efa safa nati. Lapo e ngene tune nati sangena. Wavuga nati savuswa. Usu mbongile in wakuka. Wambongu guti usu katile. Usu shiili mpilo yesono. Izwe. The world is no longer a problem to you. No mama long. And you'll find that the world beckons young people and brings them, uh, calls them into following its pattern. Clothing. You'll find a girl wears tight fitting clothing as possible, whether it's shorts or showing her belly button ring, all sorts of things, long or short. I can't understand how the world, a rotten thing, can have such a magnetism and draw young people to itself. I remember years ago there was a certain fashion and remember fashions come and go and they change. A fashion lava a, farm. A boy's fashion. Ngokunda. Regarding hairstyle. Begzo tatwa nyaboni poti lompete. Yabona abatala. Umabenga sagwazi uguya. E e toilet pansi. Babe ne putil nane pants compete government cup. Pants compete. Now, you know a pot, a potty, a bedpan that have a uh, that size thing? Because it's, uh, remember they would use it, older people would use it because too far to go to an outdoor toilet. Want to bebe pumela pan. It used to be for those who needed to go outside. Kumbulu tube, onga seko, Josias tube, we seka putja plan. Waza keli, wa lapo akin, wa ki toilet, baza bat ye. U Josias, who said the toilet and lead. I remember when Mr. Dube, the father of Brother Jablan Dube, how when he installed a toilet in the house, the whole neighborhood was astonished and they said, what? Dube has put a toilet in his house. government 
those were the days pre flush toilets now this fashion of haircuts would be that they'd put a pot on the boy's head and then take a blade and or barber thing and would cut all around so they'd leave this tuft on top besege abafana belungu bahambe badaye inwele bayidaye nomzi begrey noma mupumba and white boys would dye their hair gray and other colors singathi ukuhlanya lo umsangano lo kodwa leyo onke yabadonsa bayayithanda izwe linamandla phezu kwabo we would say that is madness it's insane to do such a thing but still the world beckons with such things and has power over young people through, the, through such things abakafi maqondana nezo they not yet uma sebe file bazothi nonsense leyo uganga lokho umsangano ka satan thina ngeke siqhubeka leyo ndlela kodwa uma wo wena ungafanga no Jesus esiphambanweni izwe lihinto kuwe isikhoko sibe sikhulu kunezulu if they were truly dead to sin they would reject that and laugh at it so that's satanic but it's a proof that you're still alive to the world if you and that you're alive to hell when you show that these things beckon you and succeed to call you izwe alisena wamandla phezu kwethu sifile amaqondana safa no Jesus but the world no longer has dominion over us we are dead to sin dead to the world through Jesus isso nas na wamandla safa no Jesus sin no longer has power ufa ka Jesus kuyasebenza kithina sin no longer has power for the death of Jesus works in us beses phile impilo enje umuntu omdala ufile sesi ngabantu abasha siphile impilo enje ngoba savuka no Jesus and we live a new life and as young people too one lives a brand new life for we have died to the world with Jesus aksi simange sikhulu lesi isn't that a marvelous miraculous thing imfihlakala isimanga uma usumbulelwe yona isn't that a wonderful secret to be revealed to you simanga unkulunkulu wasebenza umsebenzi omkhulu egolgotha lapho esibhabhadisela ngokwaba se Roma 6 ku Jesu Kristo how marvelous what a miraculous wonderful thing god did for us when he baptized us into Christ Sabanaye we died with him Sabuganaye arose with him Sesinga abantu abasha now we are new people Sesiphile lunkulunkulu ngobunjwele nangokulunga and we live for god in holiness and righteousness Sile maqondana nokweba dead to stealing uma usofile uma khona isidumbu ungathatha imali uyibeke eduze nesidumbu Istumbu singai singalingwa le mali If you put some money next to a corpse does that dead body get tempted to steal that money Angithi nina nkonza amadlozi uma sefile sokufa idlozi usubeka umancishana emsamu usufaka inqembu liphezulu Eh umufu yeza yini ukuzokuhla Ake sikudla into uthano Kuhle ukudla amakokoloshe kuze kulethwe isalukwazi siyokudla lo mancishane naleyo nyama You who involved in the occult worshiping the ancestral spirits you tried to put food and things for your ancestors to come and get do they ever come and eat that food or drink no never it's just the cockroaches and the ants that come Fine lo muntu for that person is really in the grave 
Natige e kolkota safa no Jesu. Lape vuga sa vuga kanye nai. And we at Golgotha died with Jesus. When he was raised, we were raised together with him. Nandiga bu konda evangeli. Nandiga bi. Ugumbule lo alezi zim. Eh, eh, zim fitaga lo ze evangeli. Iko skula sete gumnandu kondu agumnandi. How wonderful, how sweet it is to understand the mystery of the cross. That's why we sang that Zulu chorus, Sweet is the Gospel.